exit onto A22 Caterham Bypass. Indian restaurants can't get skilled chefs because young British Asians don't fancy the job, and visa changes have made it harder to bring chefs from the subcontinent. Understandably, the industry is none too happy about this, and so the government has invested money in curry colleges to give young Britons a chance to learn some cooking skills. Hardy visited one curry college and asked Peter Hanna for a lesson. In 2.7 miles, at the roundabout, take the fourth exit onto entry to M25 West Junction 6. Exit onto entry to M25 West Junction 6. Straight on for 11 minutes to junction 92A243, A245. Yeah, no. 
anything to make him talk to me. But I tell you right now, the rest of my life, I never forget the boy. Very soft boy, very gentle. And if he got the phone, as soon as he got the phone, I cry. I just almost like scream out loud and say, you know, fine. I don't need you anyway. At the same time, I tie his name in my phone book. I save his phone number and his name. I say, I keep telling myself, for well, one day, one day maybe he call me back. So up until today is what I want. And that's the reason why I accept the interview. I say, I tell my dad, I don't ask you for help. I don't need anything from you. I just want you to know that. No matter what, he's always in my heart. Even maybe the rest of my life, I don't have a chance to see him or talk to him. But I do. I just do wish one day I can hear from him again. That's all. I thought it was so moving how much that woman still loved her father, even though he'd given her so little in return. The tragedy of these children was that they were mixed race in an era when it meant being abandoned by both parents' heritages. There was another mixed race story, this time set in Britain, when Ian McMillan went looking for Charlie Williams on Radio 4. For younger listeners, Williams was a comedian back in the 70s, but he used to appear on shows with the likes of Bernard Manning and Frank Castle. Like them, he wasn't very funny. Unlike them, he was black, a mixed race actually, and he spoke with a broad Yorkshire accent. In those pre-PC times, Williams found that the best way to stop anyone else telling racist jokes was to tell them first. I'm a couple man, first of all, I'm a Yorkshire man. And, uh, no, I think that they've been doing gags about baddies and nicks and Daffy and Jock. We're not having a, having a, a go at anybody, it's just a matter of just involving everybody. And uh, I think if you never laugh at such things, it's nice. Yeah, but some people feel that uh, you are perhaps trading on the white prejudice.